everyone doing today? So I, uh, I thought I'd start off with a really quick question. Uh, how might an element, uh, whether oxygen, carbon, or hydrogen, look like if it were standing right in front of you? What would it, <laughs> pretty small, yeah. Uh, what would it be wearing? What would its life be like? You know, would it be happy, sad, tall, short? What would it do for fun? <laughs> when I look at the periodic table, I see 118 different elements and 118 different adventures to share, stories to tell, and characters to create. For many students across the globe, the periodic table is just another table, and that needs to change. How do we go about exploring this entire world in a way that gets kids excited about learning science and chemistry? So I started to think about this question in middle school and came up with an idea that I call Elementio. And in Elementio, we give personalities to the different elements. So your oxygen becomes an oxygen life giver, a wizard. Your sodium becomes a sodium dragon. And your helium becomes a helium genie. Let me uh, show you what I mean. This is sodium dragon. When we were short of soap, vapor lamps, or salt, a messenger would be sent to sodium dragon's cave. And now a tweet is enough. So we're taking the properties of elements and we're giving them a face, right? We're giving them a personality and a character through both a small story and an illustration. And you can notice the sodium vapor lamps that are in the background. This is Phosphorus Phoenix, who if you notice is carrying a strand of DNA in her beak instead of carrying twigs and is getting ready to flap her fiery wings whenever anyone decides to strike a match. Or one of my most favorite characters, Chlorine Troll, <laughs> that uh, wades in dirty waters, but himself carries a big, big stench. It's a crazy guy. And in the Elementio game, these elements can interact with properties. So, you know, your oxygen can rust metals. Your copper can conduct electricity and shock cards around him. Uh, your helium, because of its light weight, can take cards and then move them forward. And the goal of the game is to cross the battlefield and reduce your opponent's electrons to zero. <laughs> So, uh, how did it start? Well, it started with something very simple. This was the very, very first Oxygen Life Giver card that I made back in sixth grade. And it started with Google Images, PowerPoint, and just a whole lot of fun. And, it, and I mean, like, I, when I was earlier in elementary school, I would play a whole bunch of games with my parents. And you know, there was a point at which they were just like, you know, dude, they didn't say dude, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, Dude, there's no, where's the learning in all of this? And I was like, you know what, that's right. Let's see if we can create a game that combines both the fun and learning. And that's where this journey, you know, really began. And um, the coolest thing about being a kid growing up right now is how easy it is to develop a prototype and make something new. Uh, I remember hand drawing cards, putting them on PowerPoint, and then running to FedEx Kinko's like 12 hours before a conference to get the first deck of the cards printed. And I would do this every few months. So it moved uh, slowly to actually me starting to hand draw some of these cards. And this is the same oxygen life giver, but this is how it looked like um, when I was in seventh grade. And for me, that was actually um, a really tough year. I was diagnosed with a very rare lung disease that led to bleeding and hemorrhage in my lungs. And um, I remember like my lung capacity was cut to 50% and I missed five months of school and lost like some 20 pounds of weight. And I would remember waking up in the mornings, and this was going on, you know, on the side, and I would remember waking up in the mornings feeling as if I had already finished running a marathon because I was just incredibly tired. And, um, but, it, you know, the times like those that make you realize how much your heart and mind work, even when your body does not. And I would get up in the morning, and I would drag myself to the desk, and then element by element try to bring the periodic table to life. And I kept going. And this is how the final Oxygen Life Giver card actually looks like today. And it looked very similar back in eighth grade. The cool thing is the illustrations, though. Um, these are made from artists all across the world. We have guys in Michigan um, and Argentina and now in Indonesia. Uh, and how I met those artists is a separate story. But um, as the saying goes, on the internet, 
no one knows you're a dog or a kid. <laughs> Especially if you have a PayPal account. <laughs> so, hey, so we got this thing going, and we got 5,000 games manufactured from our come from a factory in Texas, and then got shipped to our garage. Uh, and then Amazon decided to take some of the games to their warehouse. They started to sell by word of mouth. And I started high school, high school life began. And then uh, a year back, I started to work on the next uh, version of the game. And this is actually uh, as the first version sold out. And this is just to show you how the new version looks like with the box and the cards and being able to play with all of the elements. So I started to think. The coolest thing about this, one of the coolest thing about this was actually making my own card. So wouldn't it be cool if kids could somehow create their own element characters, their own element personalities, and bring their own periodic table to life? So around a month and a half ago, I contacted um, a company, Extensio Software, who helped me uh, build and bring Elementio to the Apple App Store. And I'm very happy to launch the first version of that app today at TEDx. So let me actually show you how it works. All right, let's get this going. All right. So the first thing about this app is that we can look at elements from 1 through 36. So that's elements hydrogen to krypton in the periodic table. So we can look at the different elements. There's fluorine. There's neon. And for one element, something very special, the very first element I showed everyone, sodium dragon, we decided to spice things up a bit. <laughs> and the property that we're animating is a chemistry property. When you drop an alkali metal in water, it's going to explode. And that's how sodium's fire is created. The other cool thing I wanted to point out, um, and this was given to me by one of my good friends and advisors, Theodore Gray, who's a co-founder of Wolfram Research the 3D representation of sodium, uh, so that you can really see how it looks like in real life. But the coolest thing I, coolest thing I think is actually uh, making your own Elementio card. So I'm going to make a Tellurium TED. <laughs> and I've not only made my own card, but I can then see it come up on the periodic table. So I think you know, what I've learned from all of this is that you're never too young to make a difference or to create something new. For me, the periodic table isn't just another table. It's a place where the elements come to life. Thank you. Yeah.